Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate. Oh, any Jacob. Hi. Hi! I'm pretty sure clouds don't say words like push B. There's no M or L on Mario and Luigi's hat. And there's only three modes in the whole game. I know it's the first in the series, but a basic versus mode would have been nice. Why would they go with Donkey Kong Jr. and not Donkey Kong? What kind of sense does that make? Even when you unlock the special cup, you can't play it in 50cc. Check out the names of these courses! Mario Circuit 1, Mario Circuit 2, Mario Circuit 3, Mario Circuit 4! Would it have killed them to make half decent titles? This game really hasn't aged well. It looks pretty ugly and very muddy. There should have been an option to disable the map on the bottom to play in full screen. But no, I'm forced to play with half the screen all squished together. Don't tell me that Choco Island is made out of chocolate, because it's clearly mud. Oh, that's real fair. Some of the computer players get items that you can't. Why can't I use a fireball, or a poison mushroom, or an egg? Hold on, you can only retry a race three times. Do you realize how much bullcrap that is? Ugh, seriously? Mario and Luigi just spam the star item anytime they want to. What a balanced game, right? So in the Japanese version, winning a Grand Prix shows the character opening some champagne, but not in America. What kind of wusses do they think we are? Every course is so short. It takes like eight seconds to finish a lap. No wonder they make you complete five laps instead of the usual three. I love how the Mushroom Cup has two Mario Circuit tracks. At the very least, they could have spread the tracks out between each cup. You can't hold any items behind you. Not even bananas or green shells. So getting coins as an item sucks. Like, I still don't understand why they brought that back to Mario Kart 8 and Deluxe. The Womps are so tiny that they couldn't possibly be considered a threat. Oh, well, uh, uh, never mind. I, I guess I spoke too soon there. Ugh. Well, that's just a dick move. There's an actual dead end. I guess you could use the feather to hop over it, but come on, this is stupid. When you get shrunken down, it lasts for like half a lap. Plus, you can get squished and lose all your speed. Falling in water is your worst nightmare. Don't let it happen or you're gonna watch Lugatu take a century to pick you back up. So Koopa Beach 1 is just a circle, and so is Vanilla Lake 1 and Koopa Beach 2, and Vanilla Lake 2. You know, why not just make every course a circle, huh? Oh, and by the way, Vanilla Lake 2 and those dreaded ice blocks just about give me an aneurysm. The Bowser's Castle music is way too stressful for any sane person. If you ever wanted a seizure, just get hit by an item in Super Mario Kart. The results are super effective. You know what I just realized? I think Mario Kart is being run by this giant cheap, cheap balloon. Sure, Lega 2 starts the races and stuff, but the guy in charge is a freaking fish. That's kind of pathetic. The spacing of the words of Star Cup and Special Cup is inconsistent with the rest of them. Maybe draw a line if it's supposed to stand out or something? Those damn Monty Moles in Donut Plains 3. The red shells are so bad, they barely work at all unless you're really close to someone. Super Mario Kart by far has the worst Rainbow Road in the series. I don't have a problem with the tight turns and the awesome music, but falling just completely kills your chances at a high ranking. You're punished so hard for making one or two mistakes. Ah, oh, of course they didn't name the battle courses in a cool way. I can't play the battle mode with a computer player. You have to have friends to play this. And did I mention how slippery and awful the controls are? It's like every course is on ice. Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. I love me this game, so just chill and enjoy this 64-bit goodness. Yeah, honestly, this game is so overrated. The drifting is awful and takes so much practice to do well. Why does the word boing pop up when you jump? There's no one player versus mode. The computers rubber band you, so it's near impossible to stay in first for a whole race. The frame rate is awful when you play with multiple players. Toad's Turnpike, mirror mode. Enough said. So the Red Shells managed to hit everything except the racers. Apparently, Nintendo replaced Koopa with Wario, who would want that ugly turd as a character? And Kamek didn't make it into the game either! Now that I think about it, why did we only get 8 characters? Diddy Kong Racing has 10, I mean hello. If you fall off on Yoshi Valley, it takes 5 years to get back on the track. Also, why can't it tell what place I'm in? Is the game that dumb? You can drive all the way up to Peach's Castle and Royal Wasteway, but you can't go inside and just play Mario 64 instead? So you don't really win anything if you get first in a Grand Prix. Woo! Yay, I got a virtual gold medal! Oh, wait a minute, but if you get gold medals for every single cup, the title screen looks different. That's my prize. 
<laughs> if I don't select the Grand Prix right away, Mario keeps asking if I'm okay? Okay. Yes, I I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, I, I swear I'm okay. okay. Dude, I was getting a snack! Chill out! Holy crap, I managed to learn a whole language by the time I finished one lap in Rainbow Road! I can't do that Rainbow Road skip. The advertisements on the billboards aren't even real advertisements. You can't throw triple green or red shells behind you. Does anyone even play Big Donut? Or any of the tracks besides Block Fort? The cows in Moo Moo Farm don't even move. Come on, get a move on! Yeah, I I'm sorry. Just unsubscribe now. Trying to jump over that big boulder in Koopa Troopa Beach just isn't worth it. You'll probably just land on the boulder, come to a stop, lose all your time, and look like an idiot. That stupid train in Calamari Desert always gets in my way. You can continuously get hit by items over and over since there's no invincibility frames in this game. Who would even use the speed meter? Nobody cares about that. The item distribution is awful. You can get things like stars, lightning, or triple mushrooms in first or second place. You can't skip that dumb end cutscene showing who got first through third. The characters aren't even 3D models, they're just sprites. Same with the items. Mirror mode isn't played in 150cc, no, it's 100cc. What kind of wusses do they think we are? I can't play battle mode with computer players. If you were holding an item and turned into a mini bomb cart, you'll never be able to use that item. This game is so ugly. It has not aged well. If you turn too much or too quickly, you can actually trip yourself up from that. Why does this exist? When you're about to go over that big jump in Wario Stadium, but nah, someone uses lightning or trips you up and then you fall down and you end up in dead last. When everyone gets hit by lightning, the computer players still go the same speed while you go slower. Those freaking penguins in Sherbet Land. Oh, <laughs> that's so sad. The fourth player's just left all by himself at the ceremony. What? What would... would... Touching walls can bring you to a stop for no reason. Apparently the ship in DK's Jungle Parkway is a ghost. You can only save time trial data if you have an N64 controller pack. Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my actual thoughts and feelings. So just realize that you are beautiful and I love you, okay? Mario Kart? More like, mediocre card, am I right? That compressed sound though. When you're turning, arrows appear on the screen. As if I couldn't see the road to begin with. If you're trying to unlock all the cups and stuff, there's not much room for error. You can only get 4th place or worse 3 times or else you have to start all over again. What a stupid feature. Where is Waluigi? IGN says that Waluigi's in the game, but guess what? Waluigi's just a hoax! He doesn't exist! Now I'm just triggered from IGN. Speaking of, there is no new characters. They all just returned from Mario Kart 64. Most of the sound effects the characters use are ripped from Mario Kart 64 too. One Bowser Castle is great. Two is kind of pushing it, but seven? Yeah, there are seven Bowser Castles if you include the retro tracks. Bowser Castle 1, Bowser Castle 1, Bowser Castle 2, Bowser Castle 2. Nintendo, you really gotta work on naming your tracks better. The item distribution, par usual, is awful. That crab is dabbing. Are, are, are you serious? You can't jump while holding an item behind you. You just use the item instead. Triple shells are the exception, but still. Rainbow Road, ugh, and the SNES Rainbow Road. The two worst Rainbow Roads in one game. There are no new items. You know, it's like this game is just half Mario Kart 64. At the time, I'm sure Super Circuit looked great and all, but now it's just a freaking mess of pixels. Some of the songs are okay, but a lot of them aren't very memorable or catchy. Too many tracks look exactly the same with the only difference being the direction you drive in. Power sliding is kind of crappy to pull off. Sorry, but Cheese Land doesn't remind me of cheese at all. Snowland. What a creative name. This whole track is covered in ice! And the stage freaking shakes your screen the whole time! God! When a shy guy latches onto you and steals your coins. Don't even get me started on the booze. There might be a lot of tracks, but quantity doesn't equal quality. You can't throw triple shells behind you. What is up with all the blimps? Did Luigi sponsor the game? That's Mama Luigi to you! Oh uh, yeah, there you go. Just, you know, flash a picture of rain droplets. That'll make it look like rain. I know this is lava, but it looks like balls of ketchup in this picture. You shouldn't be allowed to make the retro tracks three laps long. That's just 
untraditional. Toad looks so derpy. I mean, look at his eyes. I can't even use the different camera angles for the replays. What is the point of this speedometer? I am not a fan of these ice blocks. I wish you actually jumped that high when racing. This picture is fake news. There is no cool artwork for the retro tracks. Warning, the following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. So don't double on that dash, all right, dude? The inclusion of special items is awesome, but why are triple shells, bob -ohms, and golden mushrooms exclusive? Those are items that everyone should be able to use. You can't do little jumps. I have to unlock Toad when he's always been a starting character in every other Mario Kart. Petey Piranha's head is way too friggin' big. I can't see anything in front of me. Also, King Boo and Petey Piranha are broken because they can use every special weapon. Blue shells are particularly bad in this game. You'll get flown in the air for what feels like 45 years before you can move forward again. The the chain chomp item might be cool at first, but it'll just end up knocking you off stage in the harder tracks. You can't hold items behind you, so if you're trying to dodge a red shell or something, you have to drop the item you're holding at just the right time to avoid getting hit. Those people that say Peach and Daisy's special items are bad, when they're actually pretty darn amazing. Like, you literally steal an item you run into, like, did these people ever play the game? When you lose badly with the baby characters and they start crying. Shut up! Where is the single player versus mode? And where is the single player battle mode? A lot of the music is repeated over and over in different tracks. The fake item boxes are dumb in Double Dash. They should look really similar to the real ones, but have a small touch that makes them fake. But in this game, they look completely different, so it's obvious which item boxes are real or not. Why does everyone obsess over Baby Park? It's just a simple loop over and over again. I don't get it. That stupid tornado in Dry Dry Desert. For some reason, I always manage to get myself sucked into it. I've never noticed this till now, but why aren't the characters wearing seatbelts? I know you swap out characters and whatever, but this goes for all Mario Kart games. Where is the safety? Look at this box art. You see anything wrong with it? No? Well, you aren't looking close enough. The L on Luigi's cap is backwards. Fail. I can only use three initials when putting in my name after winning a cup. I want to put in more. You have to unlock the special cup. How dumb is that? I can understand unlocking all cup tour, but why the special cup? Those wiggler cars in Mushroom Bridge and Mushroom City. They do so much more destruction compared to the other cars for no reason. And those stupid bomb cars. Like, why on earth are there bomb cars on the road anyway? I can never drive up the railing of the bridge without falling off. And even if you can do this, it's a lot slower than just driving driving the normal route. The bananas in the picture are winking at me, and that's really creepy. I get that there's like innuendo with bananas, but just, just, no. The stats for the Gogo -Go Buggy and Toadette Kart are different in the battle mode compared to versus races, and nobody knows why. The physics and controls in Double Dash are really loose. Just play DK Mountain and you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. Sherbet Land is so unfun to play on. The ice slips you up all over the place, and then you can get frozen by the freezies on top of that. In Peach Beach, there's this random pipe that you can use to get a double item box, but it's completely useless because you end up being really far behind in the race. When the Cataquack flips you into the air. Block City is just die at Block 4. Like, let's be real. And did anyone ever like Cookie Land? It's a cool stage and concept, but it's just too small. You don't win any prizes for completing the All Cup Tour in 50 or 100 CC, so don't waste your time completing those. There's only two mushrooms to use instead of three in time trials. That makes no sense, except for Wario Coliseum. The Mushroom Bridge logo isn't accurate. The picture shows a 1-up and not a mushroom. Get your shrooms right, y'all. WARNING! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feels, because this is my favorite Mario Kart game. But I'll find something to whine about, oh yes. Say hello to the most boring racetrack of all time, Figure Eight Circuit. And Yoshi Falls isn't any better. Okay, there's like a waterfall, and some bridges, but... Ugh. Making an emblem is really cool, but there's only 15 colors to work with. Also, you'll almost never see your emblem because it's too tiny or in front of the cart. Remember when Baby Park was really fun in Double Dash? Well, the remake sucks. Well, there's freaking five laps, no Bowser shells flying around, it's boring! Those people that think snaking is bad, I'd rather that than be forced to wait for my drift to build up. Why on earth is an excavator a cart? Yes, it's unique, but... 
what the hell? And why a tank? I mean, it's really cool, it's my favorite, but why? They took out the second shortcut in Yoshi's Circuit. Who asked for Rob as a character? Also, why is a pair of legs a freaking cart? What were you all smoking when coming up with these designs? Where is our Lord and Savior Legatu? Ugh, get away from me, DK. Honestly, this whole game is so blocky and ugly nowadays. Like, holy crap, man. Why is there an item stat? What's that even supposed to mean? Speaking of items, why are they 2D sprites again? Well, okay, the fake item box and blue shell are in 3D, but the rest should have been too. This was the first game to introduce the blooper, the one item that literally nobody likes and hasn't left us since. You can't see everyone's times after a race anymore. What, why did I lose my items by running into that car? That overpowered item box on DK Pass that always gives you stars or triple mushrooms. I like how the crowd is literally just dots. Who would even bother with this alternate map on the bottom screen when the default one is as helpful as can be? So one of the methods to blow up balloons is the blow into the mic. Could this be more cheesy? You want to know why the Polterguster model numbers jump from 3,000 to 5,000? Because the 4,000 model is a goddamn cart. What is with Luigi and Data? Does he miss his dad or something? There's only one song for every battle mode track. I like how there's two courses called Luigi's Circuit. Ah, Nintendo, you're so good at naming things. Where are the mushroom cars that give you free mushrooms? Why did they get rid of that random sidewalk place that nobody used? And why can't I drive on top of the bridge anymore? God, they took everything out of this track. Every battle track stage is awesome except Tart Top. Why you gotta ruin this Tart Top? Oh cool, there's some shines. Just another game reminding me that there has yet to be a sequel to Mario Sunshine. Hmm. The DS track is cool and all, but there should be grooves of elevation where the buttons are. Will you stop taking all my friggin' coins? <laughs> this boss is easy, man. Too easy, what? He jumps? Every time you're about to grab that last coin, the Chain Chomp hits you. And this Chain Chomp is cheating! He started before the race began! And for heaven's sakes, what drugs is that Wiggler on to move so quickly? Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't that accurate to my thoughts and feelings. So don't use tilt controls for the love of God. <laughs> Tilt controls. Freaking tilt controls. Drifting officially sucks now. You no longer control when the boost from the drift happens. I mean, it just kind of does after turning long and hard enough. And that's the so-called manual setting. For automatic, you just don't drift at all. What the heck? The thundercloud is one of the worst items ever. Oh yay, I get to go fast for like five seconds, but then if I can't exchange the cloud to someone else, I just get shrunk and lose all that gain speed. Performing tricks are really cool, but doing the huge jumps takes so long that they aren't even worth doing if you can avoid them. Let me get this straight. Peach, Daisy, and Rosalina all get bike outfits, but Wario doesn't? He already has one from the WarioWare games, and he's also really thick, okay? You're forced to use motion controls for tricks unless you use a classic Pro or GameCube controller. There should have been a way to turn that off. And even if you play without motion controls, you do tricks with the D-pad. Do you know how awkward that is to do? Like, look at my hands! What were they thinking? Oh god, Baby Peach and Baby Daisy? Why is there four baby characters? Please tell me this doesn't get worse. Oh, 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 no, no! The blooper is just as annoying as ever. It seems to spray even more ink on the screen. Also, uh, Funky Kong. Okay, uh, that came out of nowhere. So we got King Boo as a playable character, but not Petey Piranha. And also, King Boo shouldn't be a heavyweight because he's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure that ghosts weigh, like, I don't know, nothing, right? Right? Am I right? Maybe, I, maybe I'm not, I don't know. For 50 and 100 CC, you're limited between either a cart or a bike. I've never understood that. The me voice clip sounds nothing like me. <laughs> it would have been cooler if they could have added my own voice clip in the game. Oh, of course the Blue Falcon is a playable cart and we can't play as Captain Falcon. That makes sense. So this bike is just called the Zip Zip. That's the dumbest name ever. Waluigi Stadium was kind of ruined because of all the added half pipes. Like, what was the point? And what's with all these ramps on DK Mountain? Um, hello? Let me trick off the freaking mountain, please? Oh no, I lost all my balloons. At least I spawned back in with more. Now I feel even more motivated to not get hit. 
If you actually go to the dictionary and look up the word nuisance, you'll find a picture of Mario Kart Wii's pal block. It's pretty neat that it takes actual effort to unlock characters now, but why do I have to beat all the expert staff ghosts in time trials to unlock a me outfit? And speaking of Miis, why can't you choose a weight class and why is there two slots for them? Put them in one. This game was going to have mission mode, but it got scrapped. That is genuinely saddening. I'm not gonna lie. Battle mode sucks now because the stages are too big, 12 racers at once is way too much, and it just feels like total randomness if you win or not because of how hectic the matches are. And you can't turn off that stupid timer, let alone adjust the amount of time allotted. Don't even bother playing as lightweight characters. They're basically useless. It takes like eight years to get up when you fall off a stage. Like, come on, hurry it up, Lagatu. Nice try, Block Plaza, but you still aren't Block 4. 4 out of 10, poor effort. Ranking in Grand Prix is based off of how well you play and not your placement. So even if you get first place for every race, you might not get three stars if you had bad luck with items. Let's be real. The Mega Mushroom is just stars, except you're big. Whoop-de-doo. And also, it lasts like three seconds, and you kind of have to be lucky like I was in this clip and have a lot of people near you. Otherwise, what's the point? Good God. The baby voice clips were somehow worse than they were in Double Dash. <laughs> Honestly, the bullet bill is just the unfun version of the chain chomp. What's the point of this half pipe in Wario's gold mine? Nobody will ever use this. You know what I just realized? The water section in Koopa Cape should be electrocuting all the racers since electricity transfers through water and we're like touching the water and we should be getting shocked. You know what I'm saying? The tolls in Moonview Highway aren't realistic. I'm supposed to slow down and pay a fee for crossing and I don't see no easy pass in anybody's car either. If you ever wanted to waste money on a piece of plastic, look no further than the Wii Wheel. And trust me, I wasn't going to pay for this, so I hope you've enjoyed this lovely picture brought to you by Amazon.com. When you get run over by a car in Coconut Mall, they really suck at parking. Diddy Kong's voice clips sound nothing like him. Like, what the hell happened? <laughs> Man, you can't even trick off the largest ramp in the game. What a shame. Anybody else hate Chain Chomp Wheel, or is that just me? They really should have just gone with either the SNES Battle Course or the GBA one. They both look and feel way too similar. Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared are accurate to my thoughts and feelings. So, let's all just hold hands and glide on, alright? Why wasn't this game called Mario Kart 3DS? Or something cool instead of just a number? Where is the single player versus mode? Is it just me, or do at least 5,000 blue shells spawn per race? Like, why is the item distribution always so crappy? So Waluigi Stadium is a playable stage, but not Waluigi? What? The 3D actually works well, but there's really no reason to have it. I have my suspicions that Metal Mario inspired a certain character who we do not speak of. It takes 10 million years to unlock all the gold parts. They got rid of the motorcycles for seemingly no reason. Why is Wiggler a character? I mean, it's cool to have something new, but just the fact that they had to give him gloves just so he could drive says it all. And he doesn't even have hands anyway. What were they thinking? So there's actually a first person mode, but you're forced to use tilt controls to access it. Also, tilt controls. I can only hold 10 coins? Why not 15? Or 20? Or 10,000? It kind of sucks playing the DS courses and not being able to drift the same way as Mario Kart DS. It just doesn't feel right. The blue shell doesn't have wings, therefore it shouldn't be able to fly on its own. So that Super Leaf item, it makes you look real stupid. And it should have been a battle mode exclusive item anyway. You normally don't want this thing in actual races. Oh, the Lucky 7, huh? More like, we're out of ideas 7. Rosalina doesn't have her Luma? What is this madness? The Mii characters are stuck in middle class and aren't customizable like in Mario Kart Wii. And yes, the Mii sound effects are so obnoxious. If you get three stars for every cup, you win nothing from that. There's a ton of car and wheel parts, but almost nothing for the gliders. Not gonna lie, those giant toad balloons and toad circuits are really creepy looking. You can't look backwards like in Mario Kart Wii. Some of the names of the courses are different in comparison to the American and European versions for seemingly no reason. I should be able to trick off this giant pipe in Wario's shipyard, but I can't. Oh, sorry, Wario's Galeom, however the hell- How do you even pronounce that? Why is Lekitu a character? I mean, it's kind of cool, but he already has a role in the actual race. And yeah, okay, his shell is a different color, but it still just doesn't seem right. If you're holding items after falling, you lose those items and three coins. It's cool that you can drive over some of the crowd seats in Luigi Raceway, but it's a million times slower. The cars in Coconut Mall still piss me off, and Daisy is still annoying to this day. 
Did Rosalina just give us the duck face? <laughs> Ugh. Like a two honestly sounds like Ai Ai from Super Monkey Ball, but why? I can't drive through the tunnel anymore in Calamari Desert. When you get hit by things, it feels like forever until you can start driving again. Metal Mario doesn't even have fingers, it's just terrifying metal fists. Not only are we forced to have a time limit in Balloon Battle and Coin Runners, but we can't even choose how long that duration is. And we can't pick how many rounds we want to play, it's just four every time. Also, where is Block Fort? Every Mario Kart game should have Block Fort, honestly. Yeah, Mario's a dick. Warning. The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. This game is pretty sweet, so don't throw a blue shell at me, please. Pink. Gold. Peach. They don't have amiibo support for every amiibo. Like it matters anyway, all you get is a skin for your me. Yay. While I've never really used Mario Kart TV, apparently everyone that uploads a video to their YouTube channel just gets it claimed by Nintendo. 200cc is a cool idea, but honestly the only tracks it works with is Mute City and Big Blue. The DLC was mostly awesome, but we got some lame characters. Tanuki Mario? Cat Peach? Dry Bowser? Why aren't these skins like Yoshi and Shy Guy have? So that adds up to four Mario characters and four Peach characters. My god. The Koopalings stole slots from fan favorites like Birdo, Petey Piranha, and Diddy Kong. How is the most popular Koopaling, Bowser Jr., not a character with the others? Pink Gold Peach, man, oh my god. The Balloon Battle is the laziest piece of garbage. There's only Balloon Battle, and the maps are just eight normal tracks. In fact, it's so bad that the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe commercial pretends it didn't exist. Battle mode ups the torque with- Nice try, Nintendo. The internet doesn't forget. I see why there's a time limit on battle mode. It makes sense for online matches. But why can't I turn off the timer and have long, intense games with friends like in Mario Kart 64 or Double Dash? You can use tilt controls. Why? There's Mercedes cars in this game. I mean, yeah, it's free, but like... What? I can ride a Yoshi bike with Yoshi. That's kind of creepy for some reason. Okay, they made a bike look like a horse for Link. Why not just add the actual horse instead? Like, come on. The Prancer is basically a pun about horsepower and cars because of uh, the horses. Okay, that's actually pretty hilarious. Playing with three or four players drops the frames from 60 FPS to 30 FPS. Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road is not nearly as exciting as I expected. Mario Kart Wii's and 7's Rainbow Road tracks were way cooler. Yoshi Circuit has now been created three times. It's a cool course, but I mean, it's not that good. And SNES Rainbow Road has been made four times. God, give it a break already. Remember when Toad's Turnpike used to be a hard course? Yeah, me too. So some people have actually complained about Music Park not being revamped like the other retro tracks. The thing is, it's already amazing and it didn't need the changes, so shut up! You can only hold one item at a time. Getting coins in first place really sucks. You can't remap the buttons on your controller if you wanted to. The blooper item will never not be annoying. Why did they bother adding this map on the gamepad? You can add it to the main screen. Well, at least ever since the patch. The item balance is based off of distance. All the heavy characters dominate because they can just push everyone to the side and they're all fast. The me voice clips are so obnoxious. When you play online and hit someone with a shell, but it doesn't register as a hit, like, I get it, you know, lag is a thing, but still. Funky Kong has yet to return as a playable character. Nintendo makes two F-Zero tracks, Captain Falcon as a compatible amiibo, and the Blue Falcon as a cart, but yet there was still no F-Zero game. Baby Park is almost perfect, but there's no Bowser shells flying around. Also, a baby pink gold peach statue can be found here. What the f***? The tornadoes were taken out of dry, dry desert. Also, if you get sucked into the quicksand, that giant piranha head doesn't eat you now. You can't drive up the Peach's castle anymore. The coin picture shows one coin, but you actually get two. There's not a single remake of a retro Bowser castle. And no, Neo Bowser City doesn't count. This game encourages you to drive through thick water to go fast. Don't do that in real life, okay? Invincibility frames don't really exist. You can get hit over and over again by stuff. So you can send messages in between online matches, but they're the most politically correct, safe, and boring messages ever. 
Like, why would someone care if I'm using tilt controls? No one even does that. So there is voice chat, but only with friends and only between matches. Nice and limited. It's the Nintendo way. Seriously? Pink, gold, peach Nintendo? Like, how did they even come up with something so random? Is there any reason Pink Gold Peach isn't an alternate skin to Peach? You know, okay, I get it. Her stats are different and shit, but like, come on. She wasted a character slot. And don't tell me that Metal Mario needed a girlfriend, okay? He was fine on his own. He can do his own thing. He don't need a lady, okay? At least Metal Mario was in Mario 64. He had a purpose. But Pink Gold Peach, she just exists for no reason. Warning. The following product is provided by Nintendo. Yep. The Big N sent me this game. And now, I'm gonna nitpick this game because of reasons. Why is Pink Gold Peach still in this game? So we got Mario, Baby Mario, Tanuki Mario, Metal Mario, and now, Gold Mario! That's five freaking Marios! You don't even unlock any of the characters besides Gold Mario. Wow, what a great and original character to unlock! If you were one of the few people to buy Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, well, Nintendo wants you to buy basically the same game again for full price. So how is King Boo supposed to push on the brakes? Mario doesn't scream deluxe when shouting out the title of the game. Mario Kart 8! Charles Martinet couldn't say one extra word for you, really? You can't transfer your Mario Kart 8 Wii U data to this game, so you have to get three stars on all the cups all over again and unlock all the car parts. You can't turn off the time limit in battle mode. Only one more amiibo suit? That's so dumb! Why doesn't the helmet at least look good? It's just a helmet! Make it look like the inkling girl's hair or something! Smart steering, huh? I'm certainly not getting smarter with this handicap. Also, there's auto accelerate, just in case you forgot how to push a button. The new info section is cute and all, but I think everyone already knows how to play this game. For a second, I thought the screen confirmed fake item box has returned, but no. They just fooled me. The online messages you can send to others are still safe and boring. Fire hopping doesn't work anymore. The purple sparks are cool, but you'll almost never use them. I had to reskin all of my amiibo again. If you pause the game and are holding an item, you'll always turn on or off the smart steering, which can be a bit of a nuisance. Trust me, you'll understand once you try it. Thank you, Nintendo, for bringing the Boo item back, but sometimes he spawns like six times in one race. Instead of a character getting sidelined, can't they just be eliminated like the old days? Or turn into a bomb cart? Don't even bother playing this game with the Joy-Con sideways, unless Carpal Tunnel is your thing. Throwing the bombs is controlled differently in bob and blast compared to everything else in the game. Battle Stadium has way too many narrow roads and sadly feels more like an actual track than a battle track. You can still only save six highlights. So they changed the look of the first screen of the menu, but nothing else? I mean, a couple tiny things are different, but they should have just revamped everything. What's with Bowser and the fancy cars? In battle mode, sometimes when I'm just trying to break, I end up doing that 180 degree turn without wanting to. I still can't customize what buttons do what. Battle Course 1. Wow, what a clever title. Tilt controls are still a thing. When a race is loading, Nintendo added a little inkling figure to the bottom, but where is my dry bones figure? Hmm? But really though, where is the remake of Block 4, the best battle track of all time? Shouldn't coin runners be called coin drivers? This isn't Sonic R, okay? We're driving. Wouldn't it be nice if the super horn could kill a blooper? And worst of all, why can't I play the old battle tracks? I went too far there, didn't I? Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my feels and thoughts. So are you ready to give up all those quarters for some arcade goodness? You better be. Do you have Mario Kart? What the hell is that? Some new credit card Nintendo's making? Don't look so sad that I don't want your card, Mario. Jeez, that's not the end of the world. I hope you like Grand Prix and Time Trials, because that's the only two game modes. So we have freaking Pac-Man as a character, which is amazing, but no Waluigi, or Rosalina, or Diddy Kong? You may not use the camera now. 
Well, that's fine, I didn't want to anyway. While it looks like each cup has four tracks, it's actually just two. The first two tracks are brand new, while the last two are just different variants, like a sunset for Mario Highway or nighttime for Mario Beach. Also, if this track is supposed to be a highway, then it's the shortest highway ever. So this game has 93 items, which is freaking insane, but don't get too excited because you can only use a few of these items per race. Yeah, three items per race, have fun. And many of these items work in the same manners. You're mostly locking onto somebody, throwing something forward or backward, or shielding yourself. They all feel the same after a while. Uh, no, you don't throw the boo, you send them out to steal items. This is just wrong. That's right, you pay up those quarters after one race. Gotta love the arcades. The beginning of Mario Beach looks almost identical to Mario Highway until you get to this small sand segment. Oh yeah, poisonous tires, my favorite Mario Kart item. I'm really not a fan of Pac-Man's voice. It just doesn't fit his design at all. You can only throw certain items backwards. And yeah, I know it's on an arcade, but I'm sure they could have worked around that. Boy oh boy, the thundercloud actually first appeared in this game. Yeah, everyone's favorite item, right? Hmm. So after Grand Prix races, there's a challenge level you do, which is pretty cool, but they start us with moving a watermelon, because that was so fun in Mario Sunshine. Like Double Dash, there's character-specific special items, which is pretty neat. The problem with that is you have to unlock these, so it can take quite a while to unlock all these different specials, which doesn't really make sense for an arcade game. Now, that's what the Mario Kart is for, it's to store your data, but again, this is an arcade machine, not a console at home. This is the most disgusting mushroom I've ever seen. I'm just realizing that Mario Kart Arcade has a regular shield item, but Mario Kart doesn't. Yeah, there's the hearts, I guess, but that's exclusive to Peach and Daisy, so that barely counts. Man, these Koopas are just chilling out, having a good time, and here we go beating them senseless with a hammer for no reason. I'm sorry, guys. This track is called Bananin Ruins. Yep, not Banana Ruins, Bananin, with the extra N, just so it makes more sense, yeah. What's the deal with six racers anyway? I mean, eight would have been fine, and there's more than eight playable characters, too. I like how we go from a forest to a goddamn LSD trip. This is actually sick. Oh, epic, a banana in fifth place. That'll help a lot. While I like both of the Bowser Castle tracks, they look way too similar. Like here, we just cut to the second one, and it looks basically the same because it reuses way too many assets. You can barely tell the difference. If you want to continue unlocking tracks, you have to get first place. Like, I got second in this race, and now I'm forced to try again. What kind of bullcrap is that? So this little Bowser fight is really cool, but how is this rock still up with only one pillar left? Also, you're supposed to jump over these flames, but you can still win while taking as much damage as you want, so it's basically impossible to lose. Oh nice, Robo Mario, a clone character. You know how I feel about those. So for some reason, in this game's data is a picture of the Bezlon School hostage crisis. What the heck? Let's list off all the mushrooms in this game. We've got the Absorbing Mushroom, Mega Mushroom, Invisible Mushroom, Slimy Mushroom, Heavy Mushroom, Mushroom, Golden Mushroom, Sick Mushroom, and Fine Mushroom. Do you think that's enough? Ah, <sighs> jeez. Hey bro, can I have a few hundred quarters? What? Yeah, you see, I wanted to play Mario Kart Arcade, but I'm out of money. Uh... No. Oh, come on! You're not missing much, trust me. Mario Kart Arcade is just alright. Well, what about the second one? Wait, there's a second one? Yeah, come on, let's hit up the arcades! I got a few quarters for us. Uh, wait a minute. I thought you didn't have quarters. What? What? No? I didn't say that. Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. So are you prepared for more quarters to be guzzled up? Just admit it, right now. At least Waluigi's playable now, but who is this Mamachi? Tamagotchi seems like the one franchise that has no business in Mario Kart. And why are Wario, Dong, and Bowser labeled for advanced players only? Yeah, well guess what? I'm picking Mamachi, and I'm also advanced, whether you like it or not. Poor Blinky. He thinks he can fly this plane, but we're not actually in Diddy Kong Racing. 
And guess what? There's only four new tracks. Four. Yeah, that's it. The rest of them come from the first game. And they didn't even bother to recreate or remix the retro tracks. They're all just ported right in. So this Mario Kart tones down in items with 57. And that's because the special items are nowhere to be found. They could have at least kept them in, but not forced you to unlock them. The narrator will not shut up. He commentates on every little thing that's happening. Luigi picks up coins in one stretch. Luigi shot an item. Peach, Boo is hanging on the handle, making the wheel heavy. Seriously, can you zip it? Luigi, this frame blocks your view. Is that really supposed to block my view? Because it, it honestly isn't, like, at all. I can see perfectly fine. Lamechi, Boo is hanging on the handle, making the wheel heavy. No, he's not. He's on my head. What, are you blind? That is the creepiest item I've ever seen in my life. Why is this course even called Yoshi Park 2 when half of the track is loaded with Luigi's Mansion references? And it looks like they still didn't fix that spelling error for Banana and Ruins. Or it's not a spelling error, which makes less sense. Well, Luigi, missed the item box. This may hurt. All right, I don't need your sass, pal. I get it. I messed up. The AI is really weird in GP2. The first half, there's always one player that's miles ahead of everyone, but then near the end, they just slowed down, I guess? I don't understand this change. Even the challenges are exactly the same. Why bother calling this a sequel if like 80% of this is just the first arcade game? That blimp has a mustache and a nose, and I am not okay with that. You know what this song kind of sounds like? I mean, it's not that similar, but it does give off the same vibe. When the game says to jump 70 meters, how am I supposed to know the first time that I would be jumping multiple times? I'm only just realizing how boring DK Jungle is. It's literally just an oval loop. Has anyone in the history of ever gotten attacked by these piranha plants? I haven't even brought up the drifting yet. You're supposed to jump and tap the brakes twice. That is extremely unintuitive. A broken snowblower has covered the course in snow. Look, I'm no expert on snowblowers, but that makes no sense. If it's broken, wouldn't that mean there'd be no snow on the ground? Here we are live from Pack Mountain. Drive through Packland in this forest track. The most talented driver is Ms. Pac-Man. What thrilling techniques will we see? That took 13 seconds. Like, come on, does the narrator really need to talk this much? There's still only two game modes, Grand Prix and Time Trials. Of all the things to put into a launcher, we get a banana. Whoa, scary. I gotta say, the Rainbow Road music really doesn't live up to any of the other songs from previous Mario Kart games. Toad is banging away. Lamechi is banging away. Bowser, wow! Mario is banging away. Wow, there's a lot of banging going on. If I'm not mistaken, all these animations are straight up recycled from Mario Kart DS whenever you get first place. I like that when you beat all the tracks, you unlock a special cup which is basically mirror mode. But why not take that a step further and complete these backwards instead? All the tracks are so flat that it'd be more doable and way more interesting. Okay, wait a second. I'm looking this up and it looks like GP2 is basically the same as the first game. And... Well, it doesn't add much to the sequel. At least from what I'm seeing, there's not really much of a point. But I've never tried it. Uh, yep, it's pretty much the same tracks, dude. Like, you're really not missing much of anything. And I saw those quarters in your hand, don't lie to me. Okay, you caught me. I have four quarters, four. That's not hundreds, that's not enough to beat the game. <sighs> Will you just drop this? I'm not gonna give you hundreds of quarters. Don't make me use this. Whoa, hold on a second. You're really gonna threaten me over a video game? You know, I don't know how this rock works exactly, but it gives me all sorts of powers. So are you feeling lucky? Honestly, no. I'm feeling crazy. Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. Because really, this is pretty much the first two arcade games, but it also isn't. Where is the time trial mode? 
<laughs> so this game had DLC going for five years, adding new characters, tracks, and carts. While that's really neat, that is super bizarre for an arcade game. While Peach Castle may look like a brand new course, its layout is basically the same as Yoshi Park 1 from GP2. If you go through this much effort to redo the graphics, why not just redesign the whole thing? Anybody else find the character icons on the bottom really distracting? I know it's commonplace in some racing games, but I don't like it. Once again, each cup only has two unique tracks, but now the third and fourth tracks are just straight up duplicates of each other. This is Mario Highway, but with dolphins flying through the air. That's kind of sick, actually. Is there any reason that this game needs a banana, triple banana, giant banana, banana train, golden banana, and triple golden bananas? Man, they really weren't monkeying around, were they? This sign says diving, but I can't go for a dive. That would have been pretty epic, honestly. For as beautiful as this Bond Dance Street looks, it's too bad it's just an oval track. Seeing the gliders in here is great, but they don't really add much to any of the levels besides that you're in the air for a little longer. This thwomp straight up wanted to spook me. Yeah, he doesn't want to squish, he just wants to spook. Bowser's Factory and Bowser's Castle look way too similar. Like seriously, the beginning of each track is almost one to one, but later on, it changes completely. So why not make the whole track distinct? There's not a single Rainbow Road track in this game. What kind of Mario Kart doesn't have Rainbow Road? And that's really all there is to say. Mario Kart Arcade GPDX is a fine game, but I don't know if I would call it deluxe necessarily. Uh, dude, you know, you don't, you don't have to. Then give me the quarters. I'm just saying, I know exactly what it's like to have that kind of power, but you gotta control yourself. Why do you gotta threaten me? Because you're not gonna tell anyone. Here. Okay, that works. So, uh, no hard feelings, right? Nope. someone to the arcades. Well, why didn't you say that? Well, <laughs> I thought you wouldn't want to go. Nathaniel, we're brothers. Of course I'll go to the arcade with you. Okay. Warning! The following video is kind of over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared are a little accurate to my thoughts and feelings. Vroom vroom, time to gamble for rubies and get nothing out of it. E. I feel like connecting a Nintendo account to play should be optional. This alone is gonna turn off newcomers. So I select my first character by randomly pulling down on a pipe. What have I gotten myself into? Mario Kart Tour can only be played vertically with no way to switch to a horizontal mode. You know, the touch controls are fine, and I don't even mind the auto acceleration, but it would be nice to pair a Switch Pro Controller and play like that as an alternative. So there's gonna be tours with new tracks that last every two weeks. Why do I have to wait this long to play new tracks? You gotta love how you just auto-trick off every ramp. I still can't believe I'm playing a Mario Kart game where you aren't guaranteed to play as Mario from the beginning. What the hell? Does there really need to be a mission where the only goal is to get a rocket start? Just put that in a tutorial. Oh my goodness, the gold pass. This gets you some rare carts and rare characters, some gold challenges, and the ability to play in 200cc. However, here's the thing. They're putting 200cc in a paywall, and it's a subscription service that costs more than Nintendo Switch Online. This is EA levels of dirty. And don't forget that you can pay for rubies to put in the loot box pipe and maybe get a character or cart you want. Isn't gaming so fun now? I love gambling. 
Super Mario Kart came out in 1992 with a two-player mode, but this brand new Mario Kart game doesn't have multiplayer at launch. Like, I'm not even mad. I'm just stunned. This new bubble item does what exactly? I mean, it's basically a bullet bill, but bad. You can't see everyone's times after a race. Instead of getting hurt by touching the dinosaur, you can trick off his face. That's just hilarious. Anyone else think the bat cam is way too zoomed in? It's so easy to accidentally use an item when you just want to hold on to it. An option to have a dedicated item button would have been nice. It doesn't feel right being able to trick off the geyser when it used to destroy you in the older games. Why are so many tracks duplicated in multiple cups? I know these duplicates have minor differences, but this still makes the cups have less value and it makes them harder to remember. You can't even pause in the middle of a race. Your only option is to change settings or quit. I have to wait to play all the cups. Look, I know drip feeding content works for some mobile games, but why'd you do this to Mario Kart? So there's two different loot box pipes, and the one on the right lets you get 10 rewards for a slightly cheaper price, but it took me a few hours just to get 45 rubies. There's not even basic time trials to practice the tracks. It's pretty darn deceiving that they make single player look like multiplayer with all these random usernames. New York Minute is a pretty awesome track, but it seems strange that they didn't just make New Donk City. After trying 200cc, it actually feels like the game is moving at a really fun and decent pace. But again, it's behind a paywall. God damn it, Mario looks so freaking majestic when he dabs with that suit on. Like seriously, I hate how much I love this. You can literally pull an item out of nowhere with a ticket, because cheating is allowed now. Since when did I start playing new Super Mario Bros. 2 Kart? There's not a single bike to be found or unlocked. You can only level up your characters and carts so much per day. Why the hell can't I grind out leveling if I want to? I get this is a phone game, but that alone is a huge turnoff from playing at all. And you can't even play as Wario, Waluigi, or Rosalina. Now obviously they'll come eventually, but wow. This exists, a blue shell frenzy. Definitely not OP or broken, nah. And how is a blooper frenzy supposed to be useful at all? It's just bloopers. 